Welcome to the newest member of the Patreon crew, Captain Exploder. If you want to join the Patreon, check out the link in the description. What's up guys, welcome back to Atlas and a quick tutorial on lighting and how it works with levers and just a few little things you might not necessarily know about it. Um, I didn't know, for example, that you could connect levers to lights and control your entire lighting in your base with one lever. So at the moment you can see my base is lit up like a Christmas tree. Um, all the different coloured lights and torches and the torches or sorry the lanterns on the door out on the barn are on. And they're all controlled with this one lever. So when I turn this off, we go into the darkness. Oh yeah. So as you can see everything's off. And obviously when you turn the lever to open, everything comes back on including the ones out on the barn and um, if I wanted to I could have lights down there on that deck which is the in the middle of a project I'm building at the moment but I could put lights along there and control them all off that one lever and to do that what you do is you get a lever and some wall hooks and some lights and you would just basic version would be to just put a um, wall hook on something on a wall you can put it anywhere you know like these ones in there are all on the wall hooks look and you can even stick them on the ceiling and um, have lights up on the ceiling like that's just on a wall hook which is snapped to the ceiling and um, what you do you put your wall hook down you get your lantern I'll just stick uh, one of these in there I'll just stick the red one in for now and um, what we do is get the lever now place the lever down set the pin code we'll just go like that go to the wall hook set the wall hook pin code and that is the pin code for the wall hook and um, they're now attached to each other so when we turn this on it turns the light on and when we turn it off it turns it off now you can take this lantern out and put, I know, put a torch in there. And that's now attached to it because it's the wall hook that is attached to the lever. Now you can attach other things to the levers. You can do the door. So if I turn this off, and we shut this door, set the same pin code as the lever again. And uh, I'll face this way. And open, I get the doors open and the torch come on. And uh, to clear things off of the system, you just clear the pin code. And uh, that's now no longer part of the system, just that torch is again. The other thing you can do is use a um, swivel hook mount. So if we just place this down, I'll just put this to one side. Then get a wall hook, and that'll put a spike on top of the mount. And then go up to the mount, put your light in there again go up to it select the wall hook set a pin code and now when we turn this on the light comes on with the torch and you can set as many as you like around here like I said every light in my base is attached to that one lever next to my crafting area um, the only difference is actually if I come out here you can see these lights are on out here but these lights are off because they're on their own little systems when I turn these this one on these ones inside the shed are on their own little thing but again these could be attached to the main system but I wanted them out on their own I just wanted the outside lights and the interior of my base on one lever so now with the lights, the other thing you can do with the lanterns, if you didn't know, obviously that was a blue light, and all you do is just drag and drop paint on it. So I've got the blue light there, I'll just drag the tan colouring on there, put that on, and it's now gone to a um, tan colour. And the reason I use the tan colour is it's slightly different to the normal colour lighting. This is the normal lantern, it's really quite yellow, and the tan just tones it down a little bit it's still a yellowish color more like a creamy color but if you don't like the normal yellow 
um, you can just put a tan color on it or parchment does the same thing just tones it down just a little bit but um, yeah you can go through the different colors and see what you like obviously you can you know, drag the blue back on there we got a blue light you can do it with a red and you get a red light and you know you get the get the point you can drag whatever colors you want and just play around with it and get different ones it doesn't work on a torch so when you do it on a torch paint that red got a red torch it just paints the actual like handle bit red doesn't change the color of the flame so yeah that's like the basics of how the leaves work like i said you can do it with the doors as well and if you wanted to you can do it with the big doors as well so you can if i just put this lever down here set a pin code set the pin code to that door and on the second door so they're both now set to this and you can open them both at the same time and close them at the same time there you go and then like i said earlier to clear them off the system you just clear the pin code that's no longer pin coded done the same on the second one now nothing happens look there you go so yeah pretty cool now they've got quite a good range on them um so what i'll do quickly is just to demonstrate the range we'll go outside i will place another lever down uh, just plonk this down here we'll set a pin code on it um and it's got quite a good range on it. Now I did test this earlier and run over to the waterfall that's right down here. You can see the waterfall down there in the distance. And I'm not sure how many meters it is in game, but when I run down towards the furthest point I know I can get this to work, which is actually here. Um, so you can see the waterfall down there. I tried it on that island with the tree, which is probably about a galleon's length from where I'm standing. And it was just out of range. But if I put this one down, you can see the base down there in the distance, quite some distance away. Stick a wall hook down. And just plonk the red one in there for now. Set the pin code. And I'll just run back up here quick. Okay, moment of truth. Boom! Oh yeah. There we go. Um see so yeah, that's almost the max distance i think you might be able to go a little bit further but not much i know i can't get to that island behind with that tree on so um that's probably about the max distance there either way that's quite some distance and you think that's the entire radius of this lever so it's quite a big range it's got on it really like i said my one lever inside controls all my lights and um you know, like I said, I could put lights down here. In fact, I will do it just to show you guys. You know what? Let's put two down. Why not? I'll probably end up one here anyway. Again, this is going onto a system I'd already set up. So I'll just turn all these off so it syncs it up. And then boom. And hopefully. Yeah, there we go. So, um, yeah, like I said, I could. Hello, cow. I could put lights whatever I wanted around here could fully cover this deck area where I'm gonna have a marketplace at some point soon once I've finished building and the other thing you can do with the lights is put them on your boats obviously and um, to turn them all on let me just turn my uh, lamp off go onto your steering wheel press O and that will turn any lights on your ship on and um, yeah another handy little thing and uh, a really cool trick that um, some people like to do is if you go right down in the bows, you get a wall hook and you put it, I don't know, let's just stick one there. And with the ship ones, you don't need to, um, you don't need to set a pin code, it will just automatically work. But now that one's under there, when we go out here, turn that one off you get the uh, underwater effect so you can have a under your boat glow if you wanted to do that and you just put the lanterns in the ribs of the ship basically and stick your lights on and again you can do whatever color you wanted but there you go you get that nice little effect 
in the water. And just to turn them off, go to your steering wheel and press A. There you go, they've all gone off together. But there you go guys, just a quick tutorial on lighting. Really hope that helps and um, you know, I didn't know a lot of that stuff for quite some time. So yeah, there you go, that's how you do it. Pin codes onto wall hooks, pin code onto your lever. Same pin codes for both of them and that is how you make your own little lighting system. Anyway, if you've got anything else that you're wondering about with Atlas, leave a comment down below and I'll see, see what I can do, see if I can do any other kind of tutorials. And um, yeah, like I said, hope this helped and hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.